welcome everyone to our conversation today with our digital communications expert, Ms. Sarah Watson. My name is Sarah Gesperic, and I am a change management consultant, and I am joined by my buddy. Hey, everyone. I'm Nick Bathke, and I'm also a change man- management consultant. Yeah, and we're going to have um, just a few minutes together um, to get to know a little bit more about um, Sarah's work with her organization to make the move to LUMAP. So, Sarah, if you just want to give us a little bit of the background of your role and um, the problem your team was trying to solve when you made the choice to select LUMAPs. Yeah, thanks so much, Sarah. So, um, Schnook Market has been around for 81 years, and we uh, have 14,000 plus uh, employees that we call teammates uh, in five different states. And until we uh, signed on with LUMAP and started the, the development of an internet, we had no real place to communicate to all teammates at any given time. Our upper management team uh, were using a lot of emails for our front end teammates, such as baggers, checkers, uh, customer service uh, managers. They were not getting the information. So when we decided to sign on with LUMAP, that was our ultimate goal was to solve the problem and empower our teammates through information. And that means all of our teammates. So when we signed on, that was the ultimate goal, and um, we 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 met that goal. Yeah, definite mission accomplished. Let's talk about a few of the aspects of the evolution of your communication strategy, and we're going to start with branding. Branding of an internet is not to be underestimated, right? It's really important to drive excitement and engagement. Will you tell us a little bit about the story about um, the name that you chose and how you got there? Yes. Yeah. Actually, it was a decision made by over 900 of our teammates. So uh, myself, along with my communications team who helped in the development process, sat down, kind of workshopped through some main concepts as well as some tagline concepts that involved the ultimate goal of connecting teammates. Um, We played around with some uh, nostalgia of some old schnook uh, branding in past. And we really came together about six or seven names. And then we took those naming ideas to our strategy team, which included our CEO, Todd Schnook. Um, From there, our CEO and our rest of our strategy team narrowed the the six or seven names down to three. And we took those three names and we polled our teammates. And at that time, it was all of our teammates who had emails, so it wasn't all of our teammates. But over 900 of those teammates voted in the poll. And that's where we got Schnook Connection. So I think it's really cool that we were able to get the full buy-in of the name um, from a a large chunk of our teammate base. So they can all stand behind it. And our tagline is empowering teammates through information, which is the ultimate goal. Yeah, that's awesome. You know, I think a lot of organizations, um, you know, pull a certain subset when they're doing that aim selection. I think your organization is so thoughtful at including truly a deep voice of the team. Uh, It's no surprise that you went through that extra effort um, and that extra time to help everybody um, who could put a vote in at the time to get that opportunity. That's really fantastic. Got them excited too, which is one of the main goals too. I love that. 900 teammates is incredible. I think that's so awesome. Um, And building on that, you know, when we think about connection and intranet for all, um, when you think back as a, you know, as a supermarket chain with over 100 stores across multiple states, what were a few things that you implemented with the launch of your intranet to be sure that everyone could access the content? Yeah, one of the first goals and, and opportunities we had to accomplish was getting access to all teammates. So uh, our teammates who were department managers and above, so department managers, store managers, and all of those who sit in the corporate uh, office, all had at Schnooks.com email addresses. So getting them access was easy. It was those front-end teammates. So we worked in tandem with our IT department, with you and your teams at Augusto, uh, and with Google to create uh, Google Lite users for those front-end teammates. So they all have that Google access. They just may not all have at Schnooks.com email addresses, but that allowed us to get to all of them. And so really it worked with IT to then create like a single sign-on. So if you can remember your password to check your peso in Workday, we knew that you'd be able to get on Schnook's connection. So that way we'd have a same login, 
for both of those very important tools to not add that extra burden of a second login, a second username, all of those things uh, for those teammates who are just not used to sitting in front of the computer, getting on a uh, connection or any other tool. They're on the go and we wanted to keep it as simple as possible. But the first step was just giving them that access. So once we were able to accomplish that, that opened a ton of doors for us. So we worked in tandem with our IT department, uh, as well as with Augusto and with G Suite to uh, get Chromebooks to the stores for our teammates to use. So uh, all of our stores have about 10 to 20 Chromebooks that are available at any given time for teammates just to grab uh, on their break, log on to Schnucks Connection, and check out what's happening uh, with the company on the broad scope, even down to their departments and their stores. So that way they always have that, that good pulse check of what's happening uh, around the Schnucks market world. I think that's so cool too, because it's not just the tool, right? The Chromebooks, but just giving them the time to actually check connection is such a big piece of this too. So I think that's awesome. Well, that's another key component too, is we have always said we are totally valuing the teammate time. Like in a normal circumstance, you and I, we sit in front of the laptop, we sit in front of the computers in our day-to-day -day work. So it's just easy for us to pop over to connection and see what's going on. Those front-end teammates, they are a huge valuable component to our to our company. They are who our customers are interacting with. They are who we are stocking shelves with. They are the pulse of the company. And so to then kind of value the moments that they don't have, you know, longer than five, 10 minutes just to check out what's going on on the internet, we want to make sure that everything we're doing has that in mind that we're not creating these long form, long winded components where we're just not going to get that, that time with those teammates. And the site overall, those are who we're targeting are those front end teammates. So we do everything with them in mind. I love that. That's awesome. So thinking about um, that evolution that you've made and that continued focus on your frontline teammates, um, when we think back to when we first started partnering with you, Sarah, and your team, a lot of communications were happening via email, and your team had robust workflows. They were very regimented. They were um, you know, very quality based, um, but your team was having to do a lot of heavy lifting from an email perspective and hoping to reach a lot of people who were getting bombarded with emails. And then they had to trickle down that message to their team because of some of the other limitations that had been in place. So can you talk to us a little bit more about just what the evolution has been like for your communications team and any of um, the efforts that you feel like feel a little bit lighter or gentler now on your team because you have an intranet to leverage? Yeah, I think in the last three to four years, communications as a whole for Schnucks has dramatically changed. For one, um, we have a full robust team of communicators. For so many years, we just had a handful of, of teammates who were focusing on communication. Now we have, you know, Right now we have a team of seven to eight that are just solely focused on communications and then, and then broad space. So that was a huge uh, change for us in the sense that we have more folks focused on getting the word out. That allowed us to have more opportunities to, to impress and improve on workflows. Uh, before us and before we kind of change up some process, anybody could send an email to the entire company. Uh, for a company of our size and just for the workflow of what we're doing and managing, we wanted to improve upon what was being sent out. So that way, any teammate who got an email, they knew it was coming from a place of priority and a place of kind of, um, yeah, it's a place of priority in the sense that that was coming from, coming from an email, excuse me. So if, if a teammate got an email, they knew that it was coming from a place of priority and that it needed their, their utmost attention. So we wanted to definitely keep email in that line light in the sense of if it's email, it's priority. So we changed uh, the rules on the back end in the sense that not all teammates can send an email to the whole company. And that was just for efficiency sake. From there, we then started to market Shook's Connection. It is the one source that you can communicate to every single teammate at the company. Email can't do that. So if you want your communication to be uh, read by, and impacted by all teammates, then Schnucks Connection is your one source. So that really helped us to streamline the emails and put things on connection. And the biggest uh, market support 
was our CEO. The day we launched Next Connection is the day he said, I'm no longer going to send out my uh, weekly uh, message via email. It was going to be posted on Connection. So that helps us that even if the CEO is no longer sending emails in that way, and then he's putting it on Connection, then you know you should definitely live, put your stuff on Connection and 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 reach all teammates. So that was a huge support and a huge uh, point that we were able to use and leverage to to further this channel and further the buy-in. Um, one of the biggest components for us in the recent months has been COVID-19 and the pandemic. If we didn't have strict connection, we would be emailing out. So one of the things that we said over and over and over again is how, how would we have gotten through this pandemic thus far, because it's not over, uh, in everything that we've done, policy updates, travel updates, safety components, oh my goodness, safety, 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 um, and ensure that all teammates were seeing things if we were only using email. So COVID-19 has really become that one source of communication and that one source of truth, that if you know if you see it on connection, it is the policy today. It is the most updated uh, procedure for safety. It is the latest and greatest. Um, it also helps us just to connect with teammates. So during this pandemic, our teammates are frontline. They have become essential workers. We have been able to use connection to boost morale and to give those teammates some shout outs. So we worked in tandem with our COO, Dave Peacock, um, in getting some celebrity uh, shout outs, some local celebrities. So Andy Cohen from St. Louis, he did a little video update for our teammates. John Hamm is a St. Louis native. He did a uh, video update. So we were able to post those on connection along with Cardinal players, Blues players, sports announcers, you name it, those folks are taking a moment out of their day to let our teammates know that they are uh, respected, they are appreciated, um, and that they're being thought about during this pandemic. So we were able to use connection on two different platforms in the sense that, yes, important safety procedure policy news, and then take a moment, feel appreciated, feel the love, know what you're doing and, and you're putting yourself in that position day in and day out and you're being appreciated for it. So I don't know how we would have gotten through this thus far without uh, without connection and without an internet uh, thus far. You know, your, your team did such amazing, thoughtful work to lay the foundation for success and you didn't know a pandemic was coming, right? You were just looking to the future <laughs> and knowing that you're going to need um, to get information to everyone faster, right? And you were a little ahead of the curve for making it happen. Um, we're so thankful that your team has a tool to help them continue to get back quickly to doing that critical work that they need to do, focusing on um, their customers and focusing on taking care of each other, keeping things safe, um, and getting that important messaging from you. I also just think it's so amazing that despite all of that heavy lift that you have to do, your team takes the time to remember that yes, there's a tactical need that we need to take care of, like here's the do's and don'ts, the rules and regulations, but you also take time to nurture your people. And that really just speaks towards how strong your culture was before making this change as well. And that this has only been used to augment and continue to enhance that strong teammate culture focus. Uh, it's one of the things that's made it such a privilege to work with your team on a variety of projects over the years. You constantly inspire us for how we should look at ourselves as an organization and make ourselves better in terms of not always just being about that day-to-day -day tactical, but also, um, that softer side and that care for people. So we want to thank you for modeling the way for us in that. And we're going to continue to try to encourage other partners and other, um, you know, uh, clients who maybe make the move to an intranet to, to think about that spirit and to think about that duality of purpose that can be achieved with an intranet. Yes, thank you. It's positioning our teammates for success as we are one team of merchants is one of our main um, values. And so we continue to do that with everything we do, whether it's the pandemic communication or just the day-to-day -day kind of store news component. So we're very proud of the work we do. While it be a lot some days and, and just the, the normal workflow, it, it is impactful nonetheless. All right. So Sarah, 
for others out there who are looking to launch or even update their intranet, what advice would you give them about how to make the most out of working with a partner like us? Oh my gosh, you guys were a great partner uh, to work with. So the biggest thing that I like to say is no matter what your skill set, because you can come into this partnership not having any digital background and be in need of an intranet. So my biggest component is always be the voice of your workforce. For us, that's our teammates. We went into this knowing and figuring out exactly what our teammates needed out of an internet. And that evolved over time as we worked with you all. But we leaned heavily on you and Augusto to bring that expertise when it came to sort of site development, project uh, deadlines and, and goals to meet the overall deadline. Um, now, while I had uh, some background in the digital communications field, that's not always the case. That wasn't the case for the rest of my team. So we came to it with knowing here's our dynamic when it came to teammates. We have teammates who are not being communicated with at all. They don't even know the vast amount of resources that are out there because their store managers and department managers have kind of been the gatekeepers in the sense of here's what you need to know today and, and so on and so forth. So we knew what we were working with. So that's with any outside partner, you always have to be the voice of the workforce to ensure that at the end of the day, that's who you're going to be communicating with. So we were really um, excited to kind of talk through the logistics of what we know is every day. And then you all with your expertise in the sense of, okay, but how does that look on a site? So here's our challenge. We come to you with our challenge and then we're able to talk through it in regards to an internet and developing a page or a section. I'm um, talking through permissions, talking through usability. Uh, those are key components that uh, your team is really great in working with us on as we are de developing a site map. Uh, how we want the site to be organized is a huge lift. Uh, your team is very patient to work with us through. And because we wanted the site to be organized with those store teammates in mind um, and talking through kind of how they envision the site and, and kind of thinking outside our realm of our uh, store support center world and kind of going into the, the store support or the store level, excuse me, and, and making sure that we're positioning it for them to be successful on the site uh, along with many focus groups. So that's the biggest component is always come to the table with your workforce in mind and then lean heavily on um, you all for that, that expertise to get us through the finish line, uh, no matter how many hours or days it takes. Uh, that, that was a great help. So we appreciate it. I appreciate it. <laughs> awesome. Well, we appreciated working with you too. Like Sarah said, it was, I mean, it feels like we already talked about this feels like more than a year ago that you launched because um, time's so compressed, but it's also, just incredible how quick it seems like you were able to launch and get um, a really robust connection for your teammates. So that's awesome. I, I'm going to go off script because why not? You know, this will be a softball. He brought up sports earlier. So this will be a softball. What's your favorite <laughs> thing about connection? We've hit on it a few times, but really my favorite thing because we were just, we didn't have a home for it until now is just being able to appreciate teammates. We um, are really diving into uh, more, doing more teammate spotlights is what we call them. When we hit our one year mark, we launch an incentive program to incentivize store teammates to nominate other store teammates on the work that they're doing. That is the one thing that I truly enjoy writing and reading and seeing the engagement in regards to commenting and liking. So those store teammates are seeing themselves reflected on the site. It's not a message from Todd or CEO. It's not a message from one of our leadership team. It's a store teammate reflecting on and highlighting the work of another store teammate. Um, those are the key things that um, allow us to take a little moment of brevity and, and take a pause and just reflect on that one teammate who's always positive. Or we did a teammate spotlight last Friday on the teammate who her says she doesn't sleep at night because she's just constantly thinking of ideas uh, on how to improve the store and how to, you know, put customers first and, and position us to, to be the best uh, in the friendliest stores in town. She came up with an idea to then take the plexiglass 
and put it where our teammates check in every day so their temperatures are taken and whatnot to ensure that from the second those teammates walk in the door, we're providing them the safest environment we possibly can. And her idea is now being implemented at all of our stores across the company. And so we were able to take a moment and follow her ingenuity and allow people to realize, oh, that thing I see every day, it wasn't just an idea from somebody in the, the main office. It came from a fellow teammate. Uh, we spotlighted a teammate who hit 51 years. That was the longest 10-year teammate of Etchnook to date. Oh my gosh, people just writing on there, just imagining being with this company for 51 years. And, you know, the, the great kind of moment of just pausing it and reflecting on, on the work well done. We can post policy updates and big news and things like that, which are all very, very important. But it's, you always kind of get excited when you post a teammate reflective or appreciation story. Cause you could just can't wait to see the, the thumbs up button, uh, get clicked and the comments being added. It's just for me in kind of the day-to-day -day stuff, I really just enjoy getting a notification. Do another, uh, do another comment at it because they're just so positive. And um, through this, our teammates need to feel appreciated and they need to have those moments because, I mean, gosh, they, they do so much to nourish uh, people's lives in the sense of getting food on the table and, and being there day in and day out through a pandemic nonetheless. So. We continue to um, encourage them and, and, and work to get their buy-in, too. Not everything on the site is they don't need to look at for their job. So they need to have another reason to go to Schnucks Connection. And if that teammate appreciation, by all means, like and comment away. I love it. That's awesome. That's very cool. Well, Sarah, thank you so much for taking some time with all of us today to share your insights and your success. You're just um, a real inspiration for anybody who wants to tackle a big communication problem and just dive in with confidence and courage and that willingness to say we can continue to evolve and innovate Um because our teams deserve it, right? Even if you have to do that, the heavy work, um, it shouldn't be underestimated how much work your team put into this. Um, you make it look and sound so easy, um, <laughs> but I know that there was a lot of um, really diligent effort and a lot of hours invested. And so um, we, we thank you for giving us a little bit of, of your time today. Um, and we thank you for the good work that you're doing on behalf of the community um, as an organization to um, nourish communities out there. We feel like it's a privilege to know you and to work with you. We look forward to continuing uh, to hear your inspiring stories in the years ahead with what you do as you're leading the way in the digital workspace. Thanks so much. Thank you guys. We couldn't do this without the support of our strategy team and all of those uh, CEO, COO, all of those folks in their utmost support of this new tool, as well as the day in and day out hourly updates that my team um, looks to make on connection to make it a success and, and improve over time. So I can't do this alone. I have a, I have a great team behind me working. Mm -hmm.